together let us pray the ninth novena to our lady of sorrows in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen god come to my assistance lord make haste to help me glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen holy mother of god hear the prayers of the church for all mothers especially those wearied by life and overcome by suffering they bear for their children hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen o mother of the word incarnate intercede for them from your place in heaven that the mercy of your divine son might lighten their burden and give them strength hail mary full of grace the lord is with you Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O blessed virgin mary mother of our redeemer Remember we are thy children given to thee by thy divine son when expiring on the cross mother of sorrows by the tears which flowed from thy eyes when saint john related how the traitor judas sold thy divine son for the wild price of 30 pieces of silver how in the garden of olives He was agonized with fear and sorrow the blood gushing through every pore by all the anguish that overwhelmed thy heart when thou didst hear that Jesus the only object of thy love was condemned to death by the sorrow that pierced thy maternal bosom in meeting thy only beloved son loaded with a heavy cross spent through loss of blood fatigue and pain by that heroic resignation to the divine will which triumphing over the sentiments of nature sustained thee at the foot of the cross by the excess of grief that would have robbed thee of life had not god preserved thee for the comfort of his disciples and of his infant church by the dolors that rent thy desolate heart when beholding thy beloved son most beautiful in his comeliness above the sons of men become a prey to death the ignominious death of the cross by all the sufferings of thy most afflicted heart obtain for us o mother of mercy true contrition for our sins preserving fervor in thy divine service and the particular favors we solicit in this novena o thou most tender and afflicted mother who did sacrifice thyself on the same altar with thy beloved son and whose heart was penetrated by the nails that fastened him to the cross as it was our sins inflicted those torments on thy divine son we acknowledge that we justly deserve the wrath of divine justice to fall on our devoted heads but if those very sufferings have proved our defense and protection heretofore grant that now at least we may participate profoundly in the sorrow of which 
we have been the unhappy cause and obtain that souls hitherto so insensible to the strongest proofs of love may by heartfelt contrition taste one drop of that bitter chalice of which thou did drink so deeply amen Psalm 31 verses 15 to 16 and 20 My times are in thy hand deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors let thy face shine on thy servant save me in thy steadfast love in the covert of thy presence Thou hidest them from the plots of men Thou holdest them safe under their shelter from the strife of tongues Our Lady of Sorrows We end as we began 9 days ago with Mary weeping silently beside the cross weeping for the innocent child so violently taken weeping for the nation which has let him die weeping for her child and for us we place them both in our arms pray in honor of the ninth novena to our lady of sorrows o most holy virgin Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ by the overwhelming grief you experience when you witness the martyrdom crucifixion and death of your divine son look upon me kindly and awaken in my heart a tender sympathy for our Lord's sufferings grant me a sincere detestation of my sins so that free from undue affection for the passing joys of earth i may set my sights higher on the eternal joys of heaven may all my thoughts and all my actions be directed towards this one great goal honor glory and love to our divine lord jesus and to the holy and immaculate mother of god amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray to a sorrowful mother for a particular grace o mother most holy and sorrowful queen of martyrs you who stood by your son as he agonized on the cross by the sufferings of your life by that sword of pain that pierced your heart by your perfect joy in heaven look down on me kindly as i kneel before you sympathizing with your sorrows and offering you my petition with childlike trust dear mother since your son refuses you nothing ask of his sacred heart to mercifully grant what i ask through the merits of his sacred passion along with those of your sufferings at the foot of the cross mother most merciful to whom shall i go in my misery if not to you who pities us poor sinful exiles in this valley of tears in our name of a jesus but one drop of his precious blood but one pang of his loving heart remind him that you are our sweetness our life and our hope and your prayer will be heard amen the memorare Remember O most gracious virgin Mary that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help 
or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer me. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.